Don't feel the fire I could conquer the night If I can make it If I try to draw the red light I could run through the fire I could conquer the night If I can make it If I try to draw the red light button wrong button how's it going everybody how long is it gonna take before it pops up let's go we're going banging on all cylinders everybody all right we are here we are we are here we are it's like uh horton here's a hue uh here here's a who there goodness gracious taven states rylan Hartman, fat seagull xdb man i'm reading them off right at the start i, I like planes I like turtles. I like planes. Colby, Toady, Gifford, your mom, my my mom, Logan, Salmon, Razor, Crazy, Dachi, Brecken, Kenneth, Jacob, Vince P. Que pasa, mi? Oh my goodness, que pasa, amigo? Gifford, Adams, X, the B man, Elijah, Ryland, Dubert, Morgan, Hayden, Colby, Nicole. The names go on. When's the ocean update coming out? Oh God, you know what? You know what? A thousand people have asked me, but I tell you what, it is coming out August 32nd. You're so lucky that you were the thousandth person to ask me that. And I, and so you win the prize August 32nd. It's coming out, baby. So just uh, stay up for that. All right. So let's get going. Tip for level 13. Check out the beginner series two a fishing planet and see what episode is level 13. All right. We are headed to Marone River to start us off. I'm going to go ahead and throw on eight odd hooks. A dot hooks seem to be, seem to be the best way to go about the catfish at Marone River. I'm gonna take these off because we're not gonna be standing in a boat. Um, I'm gonna go ahead. I'd say if you wanna catch gildeds, throw on the freshwater prawns. If you wanna catch a red tail, throw on the large liver and you can just kinda go with that, I guess. 
So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna throw some liver. We're gonna throw some uh, throw some freshwater prawns on there. We're gonna head to Marone River and catch some freaking huge catfish, everybody. Biggins, big old boys. Let's go. I'll show you where we're gonna go. Show you what time we're gonna be fishing. The gear we're using, all that jazz. You know, all the good stuff. All the all the meat and mayonnaise of the sandwich. God, this light. Come on, camera. Adjust to the light. You're way too bright right now. What are you doing? Doesn't anyone know how to light my face? Come on now. Get it right. Get it right. Okay, let's go. We're going to head down here. Uh, we'll probably do a, a friends only room that way anyone hey actually we're this is the beta server so i guess there really isn't anyone anyway i guess if anyone's there they are free to join later on you should go to blue crab there's no there's only gaff top sale uh uh fish uh, catfish at, at blue crab that wouldn't do us much good would it all right top notch let's go we're gonna throw down our rod stand. I'm gonna change the time to nighttime, but there's a specific day for this specific area. And one thing I would like to see is if maybe uh, the other night times work better in another area, because specifically this particular time right here on this double hump, double hump of a night, works really well for catfish and i'll show you what i mean we are down way down here on the selva and we're fishing at night which is very kind of strange honestly we're gonna toss out set the rods set the rods a dot hooks remember fluorocarbon leaders Throwing them down, throwing them down like a clown. Right around this me. I just kind of threw this marker out there in the middle. And then we ended up catching a good one. And I just marked that fish. You're level 31 now because me. Oh, really? My goodness, Wolf. Can you have the same fishing planet account on two devices? You can name the same account on two different devices, but they're going to be different. You can't uh, you can't carry it over to two different devices, unfortunately. How do you get the cap and hooks? You uh, you level up to whatever level you need to be to uh, buy them, and then you uh, then you buy them. Looks like you got to be. I don't know why the the tackle stops at thirty five for, for Maroon for hooks and stuff like that but yeah i would assume it's up in the 50s or 60s the uh, levels like level 60s or something like that to unlock the captain hooks might be in the mid 50s so might be when you start seeing cabin hooks available in the store to purchase but i'm not entirely sure gamer 76 is finally early to the stream well right on right oh right oh everybody let's go uh, I'm new to sub, bro. How are you? I'm doing quite well. Mushahadid. Muhadid? Mujahid. Mujahid? Mujahid? Ali? I say any? Is that correct? Did I get it right out of any of those times? They always come back and say, yeah, you got it on the third attempt. And then I can't remember which one was that. But, uh, I tried my best. Alex Justin, yo, finally caught one early. Bobber Down says, Jacob, oh well. Ah well? Hey man, when are you gonna get to see more Russian fishing for? Eventually. I tell you what, it'd be so much easier if there were like two of me or something like that. And then I'd be able to work on more things at the same time. But yeah, I've got I've got the BZ Hub. I got the Modern Day Outdoorsman channel, which I got all the other videos for. I got all the all this secret the secret products and stuff like that all the different products that are coming out on the modern day outdoorsman uh through the website and all that it's gonna be some super fun stuff um and i'm excited about it and then we have another brand a secret another secret brand another secret brand we're doing work for um 
Then, of course, I've got the main company I work for during the day. I got another company I work for on the weekends. And then I'm trying to do BZ Up stuff in between. You know, a new River Monsters episode, uh, trying to work through the, the free to play Sturgeon stuff and doing these live streams. There's a lot going on. I'm spread thin. If I was a uh, brownie batter, I would be like this, this, this thick and I would balloon up in the oven and then you'd be like, what is this? Some sort of brownie pizza? Cause it's thin. And then you'd be like, yeah, it's, it's thin. It's thin brownie crust. Enjoy. BZ Hub style, but it is what it is. What's a good place to bass fish? Everglades. Well, this isn't what I remember at all. Where's all the fish? I was literally fishing here just the other day and bites were going like crazy. And yet I come here during the live stream and try to replicate it for all of you. And what are we dealing with? Bunch of nonsense. I'll tell you what I did change though. So maybe we ought to reel these in and do just that. What I did throw on here last time, as you'll notice, there is a feeder on here. And maybe that makes all the difference. Maybe. Is I made some catfish magic, which is honestly just catfish destroyer gold. Uh, well, it's, it's golden, but you don't need to use the golden. Catfish destroyer ground bait. And then I went ahead and threw that ground bait into the feeder and tossed it back out. Maybe that's what we need. I'm glad I thought of this before I waited here for longer. Could have been out here for a while. This could have been even more boring than it already is. Let's reel, reel these other two in and uh, make that switch. Hopefully we start getting some bites. Tidewater fishing. Say my name, say my name. Is uh, am I the, am I the oldest one here? Tell me, tell me someone else knows what song I'm talking about. Bro, don't worry, you can just say Ali. Alright, yeah. Like Prince Ali. Yeah, boy. I love it. Alright, sweet. I can do that, Ali. Still in the Emerald Grind at level 27. Tried Everglades and was very underprepared. Thing I might try some trout fishing soon. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Tidewater fishing, calm it down. You're a little bit of repetitory. Repet, repetit, is that a word? Repetitory? <laughs> Catch 101 pound mirror carp and weeping wells. No. Pixar it didn't happen. I don't believe it. No way. You're eating a brownie right now? No. That's crazy. What's up? What's up? What's up? I don't even know how to say that. Kusel? Kuselia? What to do after EESS? Enjoy the game. You're free. You've graduated the high school college of fishing planet and you're free to play the game however you want. Congratulations, Muhammad. You did it. Colby, I love your fishing planet videos more than anything else on YouTube. My goodness gracious. Just want to say thank you for all the content you're making. Well, thank you. Thank you, Colby. Goodness. Throwing sling and compliments my way. <laughs> Bob Down knows what's up. If it's if you ain't playing, say my name. Oh, is that what it is? Is that what it is? You're one of the best fishing YouTubers. You're underrated. Much love. Oh, thank you. Your mom. <laughs> Bass boy, hi, good evening everyone. How's the fishing in real life in this brutal August? Awful for me. You know, I went out this weekend in two different places and I didn't catch anything. I will say it was, they they weren't the easiest of things and I was doing things I had never done before in the one area, but I was still hopeful that I would catch something, especially since I got out there at like 6.30 in the morning. Still didn't catch anything though. It was a little frustrating, but it is what it is. This is this is frustrating too, though. I swear to God, I was out here 
just the other day for the river monsters video and I was catching a lot of fish and that's why I decided to come out here yet again because I knew we would be catching a lot of fish and big fish at that and yet we're sitting here with nothing going on and it's frustrating what the heck is happening Adams cross Adams cross everybody watch out he's cross about something Oh, we got a, we got some sort of uh, glitch going on, do we? Is that why we're not catching any fish? <sighs> so there's there's a few bugs in the beta period. Uh, we do have a light going off on this first rod here, and now we've missed another strike. Basically, whenever this would happen, I'd have to exit the game and come back in and continue playing this beta thing because it would get into this kind of groove of bug where anytime I got a bite, it would just immediately say strike timed out and it would never like set the alarm off or anything like that, which was a little frustrating. It definitely made my uh, time trying to create a video much longer than I wanted it to be. But uh, hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully it whacks it out. Because this is what happened to us when we were uh, carp fishing the other day at Weeping Willows. Every time we got a bite, it would just disappear. And then it would tell us that we uh, missed the strike. <sighs> Frustrating. What's your opinion of Illinois since you are from Wisconsin? I'm not from Wisconsin. I'm from uh, Kansas. So I don't have anything to say about Illinois. Did you go for catfish in real life? I did go for catfish, yes indeed. A Tim Hortons cookie? Really? Well, that doesn't sound too bad. Fishing's good in, in Michigan, it's like 85 degrees. Yeah. I mean, it was pretty similar in Wisconsin today. I think it may have gone over 90, but it was super humid. So that's kind of interesting. But it wasn't, it wasn't, it's not as hot as Kansas by any means. In the past four trips, I've only had one bass actually take a frog and it spit it out. <laughs> oh no. Think it's worth to it spend 30 bay koi's on the crankbait? Ah, uh, I wouldn't think so, man. I don't, I don't like, I, I don't know. If you have bait coins burning a hole in your pocket, maybe. But if not, then no. I wouldn't think so anyway. Why you don't do videos like some bad fisherman challenges the dick sporting goods, that kind of shops? I honestly just don't have enough time. I, it, if there is one thing to remember about me besides the fact that I remember everybody and 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 you never have to ask me if I remember uh, people's... Dude, I already said your name. You're freaking annoying me. It, it annoys me also when people ask me to do something and I do it and they're not even around to hear it and then they expect me to do it again. Like, you're just wasting my time. I'm a very busy person, I guess, is, is the best thing I can do. Be, it, it, it sounds dumb. It sounds like I should be, I, like, I'm asking you to be appreciative or something like that. But literally, like, I am so busy that any time that I put out a video or sit down for a live stream, like, just, just be happy that I was able to do it. Because otherwise, I am doing something else and it's, it's beyond, beyond what a normal person does. I'm at Lake Ontario. Well, right on. Very cool. Liam. Hello, hello. How you been? I've been okay, man. Moving moving right along. Wish we could get a freaking bite over here. I don't know what to do. We can we can leave? We can just leave and go to the Amazonian uh, maze and see if we can catch some Piraiba. Otherwise, like it's, there's obviously a bug going on and there's nothing I can do about it. Because instead of the alarms going off, it just says that we're missing the strike, so... Just frustrating. Just frustrating. Let's see if we can have any luck over here, though. Hey, oh, 10 BZ of memberships gifted by business in the front. There we go. Hey, thank you so much, man. This is going to go off for another 10 times, so I think I'll uh, shut, shut her down for now. But hopefully you enjoyed that. My goodness gracious. Thank you. Thank you. Making everyone's day. Goodness. 90 degrees at Texas at 7. I, I believe it. I believe it. Fire noodles. 
Salute, Lucas says. Salute. Okay, so this was a new thing I've been doing. There is a Piraiba spot right between these two markers here, actually, in this deeper location. And you can just cast out between these two markers and catch Piraiba. It's pretty amazing. $20 Canadian. Let's go, Maple Leafs. I think you should call your... Uh, is that... Is that, is that like a country -ist? I think you should call your uh, your money maple leaves. You know, like we have US dollars and you should call them Canadian maple leaves. I've got 20 maple leaves, boys. You'd be like, yo, how much is that hot dog? And then you'll be like, hey, it's five maple leaves. And you'd be like, oh, okay, got you. I think it'd be cool. Could be really annoying. I don't know. Anywho, so we're going to change up our gear since we're not catching any of the freaking gilded and whatnot. Let's uh, go ahead and throw some 14 knot hooks on. The biggest we got. The biggest we got, boys. And we're going to toss these bad boys on here. And then we're going to throw some huge cut bait onto uh, two of these. I'm going to leave liver on one of them. And then we're going to toss it back out there once we get some ground bait made. I am keeping the fluorocarbon leader on there for a good reason. If we happen to uh, have a shark come by and grab it, I would much rather the shark just bite through the leader and me not fight it that entire time. I'm not going for sharks. I don't want to catch a shark. And if a shark comes along and grabs it, then I don't want to fight it the entire way to get it over here because I'm fishing for catfish. You know what I mean? Forgot to uh, put these on. Didn't we make it? Did we not make it? I was sure we just made it. It's not showing up though. Interesting. What's your favorite fish to catch? I don't think I have a favorite fish to catch. I guess of all the of all the fish, I I, I guess I could say that I enjoy I, I enjoy the tarpon a lot. Do I think that they're like if I yeah, I don't know. I don't know. For some reason, when I think of like my favorite fish to catch, I immediately go to like what's the like what's what is the only fish I could like, if I had a choice, what would be the only fish I could fish for the rest of my life or something like that? <laughs> and, and I don't think I could do that with any of the fish. I would get tired of fishing for any of them. But the tarpon is a fun one, I think, anyway. I was looking at weather in other states, and somehow Florida is actually cooler than half the country. You know, it's the water around it, man. Water can play a big effect on um, how the weather is. It's the same thing in Milwaukee. Sometimes Milwaukee can be uh, a lot cooler than the rest of the state, simply because it's right next to the uh, right next to the lake. And in the winter time, I hear it's the exact opposite. The lake keeps it uh, warmer than the other states, which is kind of interesting. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna toss this out. I'm just gonna toss it right over here, and we are going to be hopeful that we can get. A bite but if we do get a bite this is gonna be a piraiba everybody let's toss those out there of course we're going for big fish i know it's annoying that we're not catching fish right now but if you're going for big fish the bite rate is going to drop that's just how the game works you can make the hook size smaller and catch more fish but at the same time it's gonna the chances of catching the biggest fish available is slim you're gonna be catching a lot of the smaller fish in between I guess trying to watch all your videos you're one of my favorite youtubers oh thanks French Dino appreciate it sorry again but should I get the sport float rod pack for st. Croix I don't recommend any of the packs so I, I wouldn't say wouldn't say to Got a 25 pound salmon. Very nice. 
You scratch your money and it smells like maple syrup. <gasps> Crazy. Crazy. Nah, we're, we're being plagued by a bug right now. I'm going to exit out of the game real quick and come back in and hopefully that fixes it. If not, we might just have to drop out of the beta period and, um, and, uh, and just play on the, uh, the main BZ up account outside of the beta because the darn bite thing is rather annoying. If you can't catch fish because the bite has a bug to it, well, then you're not going to have a good time, you know? If you french fry instead of pizza, you're not going to have a good time. Same goes with bugs and uh, bites, you know? Ride your moose over to me. What? <laughs> Didn't get the membership. Ah, oh, luck of the draw, though. It's a luck of the draw. That's okay. Just mad. Options of two rods. One is carp rod, 35,000. The other bottom rod, 20,000. What should you pick? Can I catch other bottom fish with the carp rod? You cannot catch other bottom fish with the carp rod. You can only catch carp with it. Uh, or use carp leaders and whatnot. Um... So if you're wanting to catch other things other than carp, I would recommend just getting a bottom run. Expired already. You've expired already. Good golly. Right on, Alex. Justin. First... First... Live, right? I can't read it for some reason. First live, let's go. L E T S G O. Is this the beta? It is the beta, yeah. All right, back out you go. If we uh, if we experience another of the uh, the strike timing out bug, we're just gonna have to move on to the other fishing planet and come out here again. We won't have any of the cool new fish fighting uh, beta stuff or any of the nets and whatnot, but at least we'll be able to catch fish. Which is pretty, you know, it's pretty uh, a big deal. It's a big deal when you're doing a live stream trying to catch fish. You know, catching fish is kind of a big, uh, big part of it. As much fun as it is to just listen to me ramble on about random stuff for... A whole half hour now. <laughs> have you got anything just joined? I have not got anything. No, this entire half hour we have got nothing because of the bug. Oh man, what's your favorite place to go fishing in real life? Hmm. Uh, I had a few different creeks and rivers in Kansas that I really enjoyed. They were a lot of fun, but um, I don't get to fish them very much anymore. One more viewer till a hundred. Oh man, those likes better be going up or it's gonna be rough. Is PC better than PS5 in Fishing Planet? I I don't know. I, I wouldn't think so. I've never played PS5 to uh, compare it, I guess. What's your in real life PB? Oh I gotta I gotta I got a thing for that. Don't you worry. There should be there should be an auto message that pops up here. Come on, P Raida. Come on, P Raiba. Come get the bait. You know you want it. You're hooked. You just started playing two days and you're hooked. Right on, man. What's your opinion on the beta? Uh, it, if it wasn't for all the little bugs, I think the most concerning part of the betas so far has been just all the little bugs that accidentally went in with the beta. But they're kind of, you know, clearing them out so they shouldn't be a big deal when the game finally comes out. But, um, but yeah. The, the, the new things they've added, clubs, uh, fish fights, that sort of thing, are cool. Yeah, guys, gosh darn it. <sighs> We're just gonna have to switch. 
just gonna have to switch. I really wanted to play the beta and do this, but it's just not working. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But catching fish is going to be more fun than watching us sit there with nothing going on. Let me get out of the beta. Let me get out of the beta and then we'll get back to it. You like to scratch Canadian coins together and sniff it? You wanted to go fishing with your father, but uh, school is about to start? Oh, okay. Almost level 30 because of your vids. Very helpful. Sorry you can't donate. Bro, you're donating your time, and that's what matters to me. Since when YouTube running ads during the live stream? It's a new thing that they just started doing. Yeah, I noticed that as well. Would you rather catch a big carp or a big bass? Bro. Bro. Here's the thing. If I could catch a big bass, then anyone who ever asked me about it, I could just be like, yeah, I caught a 14 pounder and it's, it's my best. And, uh, and I would automatically be, for most people, like, whoa, way up there, king, you know, king of bass fishing. And then I would never have to go bass fishing for the rest of my life. It would be really cool to catch a big carp though, French dino. <laughs> but the number of people that ask me what my uh, PB bass is would make me want to say a big old bass. Let, give me a good like 12, 14 pound bass even a 10. I'd be happy with just a 10 pound bass. And then I and then I could and then I could spend the rest of my life carp fishing, which is something I actually enjoy doing. Sorry, I'm waiting for an update to patch. Give me a second. Give me enjoy this picture of boat. En enjoy. You like this boat? Pretty neat. Got two two little uh, little engines on the back there. Wow. Big boat. What game's that from? Anyone? Anyone? Bueller? Bueller? Can anyone guess? We're at 3.67, 3.7 gigabytes out of 4.15. We're almost there. You wonder if they will add line cross tangles. Not that it's needed. Yeah, I don't think so. Don't think so, which is probably good. Crazy Frost, how's it going? What is your f smallest fish you've got? Oh God, I don't know. Something small. <laughs> Something small. Do we know around what level you'll need to be to fish saltwater in the new update, or is that still something that is in the blue? It's it's as in the blue as the ocean blue. What level I unlock weeping willows? Believe 50. 10 pound line by accident. And it was your your PB? Picks or it didn't happen. Easton, how's it going? Jacob. And bait casters are overrated. <laughs> Russian Fishing 4, Risky Vibes has got it. Good guess there. Love your videos, busy, and whoever give me this membership means a lot. Hey, good deal. I wish I could give uh, memberships. That'd be cool. But alas, I cannot. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure I was on the right freaking count. <laughs> okay, let's get going. I have to redo my entire inventory. But we'll be at it. We'll be doing it by George. Buy a Maroon River license real quick. Okie dokie. I don't even remember. Oh, I was doing the uh, Test Your Spot series. That's what I was doing. I was trying to think. What was I even doing with all these rods and stuff? The Reaper 2354. Thank you, thank you. Oh. The Mokanzi 12 foot 10. Do we have this in here? Are these the same? They seem like it. I'm gonna throw these in here. All right, let's do this. 
Yeah, I'm gonna buy a third one actually. Makanzi 12 foot 10. Buy that. Wrong thing. Makanzi 12 foot 10. Then we need the Lampulgen 12,000. Reels, spin reels. Lampulgen 12,000. And then we need 83.8 pound fluorocarbon line. We have that in here. We do. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. All right, I'm gonna throw some feeders on here. We got seven ounce sinkers. I'm going to buy feeders. Let's get cage feeders. I'm gonna buy at least two of those. And we are going to switch out our big old feeders. I said we already had one in our home inventory. Oh, here we go. Top notch. All these feeders we got. Feeders for days. All right, we got a 3.8 pound fluorocarbon leader. Let's get that bad boy. And I'm gonna go back to Marone River. So let's throw on the A dot hook. throw on so much stuff I think we got everything and freshwater prawns and a large liver I'm actually gonna throw on just for some fun we got a freshwater crab on that guy All right, we should be good as long as we have catfish bait, which it doesn't look like we do. So let's get some of that. Ground baits. Yeah, we got plenty now. <laughs> Oh God. All right, we are all set. Let's go to Maroon River now. Obviously now that we're on this one outside of the beta, if you do want to join in, you are a friend of ours, join in, feel free. Third live for me and you love it, Johan. Right on, man. Friends only room. Boom, boom, boom. Boat go burr. Hey BZ, can I add you on Fishing Planet? I believe on our main account, it's up to 65 now. I think you gotta be level 65 to join in. Bo, you got to go, but fun watching you, bro. Bro, you are a freaking rhymer, my friend. Well, thanks for being here, Ali. Glad you can make it. All right, let's go sit over here. We got a few different uh, places, I believe. I believe that these markers out here are for if we zoom in one should be a Paku or a Tambaki and then the other one is the Traira. Good deal. Now we're going to add some for catfish. Boyos. 
Let's go ahead and add in our catfish. I'm going to change the name. Catfish magic, obviously. Obviously. You went down to a little duck pond near you in the evening and four foot from the shore, I saw these massive four foot carp. Oh yeah? Saw some big old grassies or something? Wouldn't surprise me. They'll go after uh, carp bait. They might be a little choosy at first, but eventually they'll go after it. Might take a little bit of warming up to it. Oh my god, it's lagging. We're having some connection issues, evidently. All right, let's give it a go. Oh no. <laughs> I mixed together that catfish stuff and then it was freaking gross by the time we were ready to fish. Don't make that mistake. Learn with me. We're all learning. It's a learning experience here. Okay, we're finally done. Let's throw this out, deal with connection issues, and finally catch a fish nearly 45 minutes into the stream. Love it. Let's go. Uh, what level would it make sense to buy a boat? Level 54. Without a doubt. Having a boat for Blue Crab Island is almost required. And now, once again, we wait for a bite. Yes, my favorite part of the game, waiting. Gotta go, blah, blah, blah. what's up, BZ? How's it going, muddying? Oh, we got interest, we got interest. Alex Justin, how was your day? Had a pretty great day, how about you? You found your cat, you thought he was missing, but he walks out of the gate like he was there a, an hour ago. What? Just got called a wildy angler to play fishing planet. Dang it. You just got off call a wildy angler to play fishing planet. Oh, okay. Your cellular device is dying. You might have to go. Oh no. Oh no. I know we're up to 142 people watching now and only 65 likes. I think people are actually waiting for me to catch a fish. Wait, you want me to catch a fish in a fishing game? Okay, I think you might be asking for a little much, okay? Why don't you just enjoy us sitting alongside the water with our rods out? Everyone knows that if you're not catching fish while you're fishing, you immediately start posting on Facebook about how much fun it is just to be out there sitting alongside the lake. But we have a fish on, so we might as well reel it in at this point. So we got the eight odd hooks on there. Got our uh, freshwater prawns. He isn't putting up a huge fight though. I don't think he's very big. Could be reverse jinxing myself, but based off this. Oh, he's a gilded. Not a very big gilded, but he's a gilded. Come here, you. Right on. A little 50 pound gilded to start us off. Little baby. He's just a little baby, he nil. That's okay, though. It's a start. Don't you know? Oh, 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 oh. Interest, interest. Look at business in the front freaking throwing out memberships like they're on sale. That's awesome, man. Thank you, thank you. I need to turn that back on so we can uh, actually see stuff going going down there it goes all 
Okay, we're on everybody. We're on. I tell you what's also on. Now that we've we're almost at 150 viewers, myself. You know what that means. You know what that means. The hundred viewer countdown. <gasps> bum bum bum. I need to get some like music that plays during it, like um, like a TikTok sort of TikTok, TikTok or something like that. And then it's like, uh, who wants to be a millionaire at the end? Sixty-two pounder. We're we're working our way up. Still very small. I can't believe that qualifies as a trophy red tail. 62 pounds. Went after the freshwater crab that time, though. Much oblige. Much oblige. This sounds like something a southern lawyer would say. Your honor. I'm much obliged. Figured we should probably see at least one of them. Down goes the duck. Andrew Moore. Woo woo. So it's about halfway through. <laughs> there's, there's a lot more where that came from. Woo. Limp fish. Oh, no, it's not even in order. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. We'll turn that back on here in a bit. Nice, nice, nice. How are you? This is my first time catching you live, Viper Man says. Well, glad you made it. Oh, we got two different rods making noise now. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You didn't know this was a spot for catfish. I didn't know it either. I was watching a video from someone else. I wish I could remember their name right now. But they were catching them out at night in this little section here. And uh, in when the river monsters video finally comes out, you will see this location in it. But I was catching a lot of uh, catfish and big ones at that. So I thought better come out here during the live stream, catch some big cats. You know what I mean? You hit the like a long time ago. Well, I like your style. What's up, Bree? How's it going? Oh, you love the video. Oh, thank you so much. 30 inch bowfin almost pulled pulled you in the water in real life. I'd love to go after a bowfin. I've seen some people in Wisconsin catch a bow, bowfin. Now I need to figure out where the heck they get them. I'd love to catch one. You're from Louisiana. Is join? Did I miss anything? Not a whole lot. It's been a rather boring stream leading up to this moment. We're just now catching fish. We were on the beta for Fishing Planet, and then um, there's some sort of bug going on in the beta uh, regarding the rod stands, and like the light would basically flash, like they have a nibble or something like that, and then it would immediately be like, um, you know you've missed the strike for your fish or whatever and, it, and then you'd be like okay so <laughs> didn't even know i had a uh, fish on to strike so interesting how's it going for brian is it free febrian or for brian watching for a while i've been in your discord server for a while you brightened my day oh glad to hear it five more likes four more likes Number one streamer. Oh, Nick Vander Merway. Merway. I also caught a uh, unique ripsaw out here, which is kind of cool. Didn't expect that. I brought it in rather quickly, and I get it in finally, and it's a freaking unique ripsaw, which is pretty cool. If, you, if you've caught the ripsaw catfish out here, catching a unique one is way more cool because it's, it's a cool fish. But you can only really appreciate it when it's a massive version of it, you know what I mean? Oh man, hit the 100 likes, that's worth a little bit of a boogie. That's that's worth a little bit of a boogie to me. 106 now, 106, the top notch everybody. Love to see it, love to see it. We're doing well, we're doing well. Not catching any monsters yet. They're out here though. 
I'm like Jeremy Wade. I'm a little Jeremy Wade out here fishing. The only streamer I care about. My goodness gracious. Been watching you for a while. I can't seem to hit level 30. Any fish in particular you should go for? Not really. You've got lots of choices. You can go to Everglades. You can go back to Emerald if you want to. Falcon Lake for trout. Lots of choices. Just try not to get bored, I guess. Ooh, 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 ooh. Two different rods going off. Make your choice. Freshwater prawns have been getting bites, bro. So interested what this flashy thing is over here that keeps flashing over to the right. He's taking it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Put, look at those head shakes, man. Look how high it is right now. Watch it drop all the way to the bottom almost. I tell you what, when I first saw the new fish fighting thing in Fishing Planet, you know, with the new beta that's coming out, and I tested out the new fish fighting thing, I was not a fan, <laughs> to be quite honest. I thought that it made the fight a lot longer. I thought that it wasn't even that much fun. And sometimes you just lost the fish and it was just really annoying. Then they made a tweak to it a few weeks ago. And I have to say, I really enjoy it to the point that I started this live stream with the beta because I do enjoy the net and the fighting thing so much. It just makes the game that much more fun. And so I was literally, I was, I was literally playing on the boat beta instead of the main game or our main account simply because I wanted to have the fish fighting in it um, instead of, instead of what we have. It just doesn't work as good. Literally on the fish fighting thing, you can, you can hold the rod and just pull to the side like this and just reel in the excess line and then pull back again and then you'll be down like we were at 62 and now we would be at like 56 and just keep on doing it and then you're at 40 and then you're at 30 and like you can catch fish in a fraction of the time that you used to be able to simply by just fighting them well i think it's one of my favorite things i i really enjoy about the beta the the net is just a fun thing too i love when you have the fish really close by and then you like you have to like throw down the net and then you have to like guide the fish over into the net. It's just a fun thing to do, I guess. I don't know. You can turn the net off too if you don't really enjoy it that much. So, uh, especially if you're trying to be quick maybe and you don't want to deal with putting the fish in the net all the time. It might be something you do. You got this guy in the 50s now. I swear if, if we were on the beta right now, like we... We would have this dude in the 20s, like trying to net him by now. Like it's it's just that much faster. When is Call of the Wild the Angler gonna be on console? I don't know, though I have been hearing that they announced that they would maybe announce it, like the, uh, the official release date on the 29th of August. So we'll just have to wait and see. Pocam fishing, you just usually don't comment, huh? Well, glad you decided to comment this time. Love to see, love to see who's watching. Makes it more fun. How do you join the Discord? There should be a Discord link in the description. You can join in. Oh, he's a biggin. He's a biggin. Let's go. Ready the unicorns. Let's go. Bring it on. That's just the start, baby. That's just a start, baby. You want the you want more where that came from. Let's go. Bring it. Bring it. Okay. Top notch. Enil, what do you think in there, bud? Enil's impressed. He's he's impressed. 141, nearly 142. 70 and a half inches long. Shoo dang. Alright. That's a good fish right there. Thirteen thousand eight hundred ten dollars and thirteen thousand four hundred fifteen. That is literally like one XP for every dollar almost. That's crazy. <laughs> Could you imagine getting a hundred a hundred XP for a fish that's a hundred dollars? 
Is that I can't even remember like early on how much XP you get for fish. That's crazy though. That's awesome. Cool. Well, that's one fish down. Let's go ahead and take off the freshwater prawns. I'm gonna throw on a uh, throw on a large liver. Try to get that old uh, red tail catfish to come after now. Let's mark that mad lad. I'm down to my last marker. I don't got no more markers. We're gonna have to buy more markers. Do I have any bait coins? Oh, ayo, ayo. How can I use the pulling away technique that's been added in the new update? You can't yet. Once it come, once the new update comes out, then then you can use it. But it's not in the game yet. Ooh, is this a rip saw? Is this a unique rip saw though? Oh, just a normal one. So much cooler if they're a giant, like full size rip saw. Ooh, we got more beeps. What's your favorite fish? Goliath tigerfish. My favorite fish of all time. Of all time. Goliath tigerfish. I think that the Goliath tigerfish single-handedly made river monsters the show that it is. I think that there's lots of great fish in the river monsters and everyone loves that show, but I think it's the image of the Goliath tigerfish that made that show go way off into the public eye. I think people had no idea that that fish existed. I certainly did not. And when people saw that, they were like, holy crap, we need to watch this show. What the hell? Uh, what the heck else is in the water? You know what I mean? So uh, I, that is, um, that's my number one bucket list fish that I'd love to catch in my lifetime. Um, it's just a cool fish. Live tiger fish, man. Bluegill fish when I get stressed while fighting big fish. <laughs> Understandable. What rod and reel are you using? We're using the Makanzi 12 foot 10 and the Le Impulsion 12,000. And I uh, got some line to give it some max drag. It's a good little uh, setup for right now anyway. Real fishing, hello. When is Call of the Wild the Angler coming out of the console? Yeah, like I already said, they uh, sounded like they were going to announce it on the 29th. I have no idea other than that. Have you ever caught a white perch? A white perch? No, I have not. You're on a cruise right now. Cool. St. Martin and Coco. Coco K. Well, neat. When's the next free to play video? Whenever I put it out, man. <laughs> it's like asking when the next earthquake's going to be. I don't know. Whenever it happens. Trying to get 55 pound bag on Lone Star. You go for it, brother. What rod and reel are you using? I already said, do you remember me? I remember everyone. Hello, Bo. I am Carp. You are Evan. You're not Carp. Miguel, how's it going? Que pasa? Hope you played the new map. I understand you probably can't give any info. I haven't played the new map yet. No. I don't even think it's at a playable, uh, like a, in a playable state at the moment. Though I am trying to make plans to make a video. Ooh, this is a bigger one. Ah, oh, just a trophy. Pretty fish, though. Um, I am making plans. I need to write out the questions and whatnot to have a uh, little Q&A session. A little Q&A session with uh, one of the developers, the lead developer at Fishing Planet. And we are going to discuss the new update coming out as well as uh, the, uh, the new map. Maybe a few questions about the new map coming out. Maybe some info regarding um, some equipment that might be coming out with the new map. Um, as well as maybe a sneak peek on some of the fish species that are going to be coming out as well. Um, so, we'll be cool. But uh, hopefully I can get that recorded this Friday. And then um, get that out next Tuesday. We'll have to see. Biggest catfish I've caught was a 31-pound catfish. Not sure what kind. I was 13 at the time. That's pretty cool, man. 
31 pounder. My old dad texted me a video. Interesting. I'll have to watch it here in a bit. Are you excited for the update? I am excited for the update. Though I'll, I'll tell you what, it's gonna it's gonna change uh, how you play a little bit. I don't know. I've talked to him a little bit about how the new quote unquote max drag is gonna work. Look at this guy. Let's go. New personal record of that. Unique flat whiskered catfish, everybody. I'm gonna take a screenshot of this guy. That's awesome. Wowie zowie. That is something else, man. Cool, cool. Well, he nil. We didn't expect that, did we? Now we just need to catch a little ripsaw. That'd be cool. We're catching all the catfish around here. <laughs> Love it. Any uniques yet? Yeah, man. I think that's our second one. Second species, anyway. Oklahoma catch alligator gar and flatheads. I've already caught an alligator gar in Texas. I was actually working on the video today. So I'd love to get that video out on the MDO. If you haven't subscribed to the MDO, then let this fake little jingle talk you into it. Cause it's a good channel and it's gonna grow. And we're gonna have new equipment and clothing and gear and it's gonna be freaking sweet. So if you're not joining the MDO right now, you're gonna miss out. Love your vids, dude. Oh, thanks, Miguel. I do uh, I do have a, uh, a trip planned. Well, I have a trip in spring to go to Oklahoma and uh, fish for the spoon mill though. So that will be a video on the MDO as well. So that'll be pretty cool. What should you fish to level up level 55? I don't know, man. Just fish for whatever you want. You made it past EESS. Just, just, just fish this, at that point. Just, just catch fish. Catch fish and level up. It's not that hard. Just do it. Just do it. You're looking for a shortcut. Huh? You're trying to you're trying to find a shortcut. How can I level up quicker? Well, there isn't one. You just gotta catch fish. That's the game. Once you finish EESS, you just gotta play. You just gotta catch fish and level up. Oh, another one. A sorabum catfish. <laughs> we are catching like every type of catfish out here. Goodness gracious. So far, the bite rate really hasn't slowed down. I mean, like we catch a fish and then like another rod starts beeping and we sit around for like 30 seconds maybe and then another rod goes off. Do it. Don't you tell me you're not going to be there after all that. Has your new fishing planet rods come in yet? I was thinking about getting me some. No, they haven't. No, I just gave them my address last week. So I don't know how long it'll be before they send me something, but I'm eager to try them out. How can I get one of those hats you're wearing? So I do have two MDO hats coming out. They're not going to be camouflaged like this, unfortunately. Unfortunately, my wife really does not like this camouflage hat and she begged me not to make one, but I might just make one in the future because I really like it. Um, oh, light fish, very light fish. It's a croaker. Freaking croakers. Um, but I do have two cool hats coming out. One's going to be blaze orange so you can wear it during a hunting season or whatever. Um, upland birds, deer season, all that jazz. And then the other one is going to be, uh, more of a casual hat that you can kind of wear. Uh, around town and whatnot, but it's going to be 
uh, kind of like this, and then kind of a kind of a, I think it's brownish color, and then it'll say MDO on the front, uh, embroidered in, in kind of a blaze orange color. It's kind of cool looking. I'm supposed to be uh, getting a sample of one here in a week or two. So then I'll be able to see it. And once I get it in, if I like it, I'll wear it in the streams and stuff like that. And then you can see it. Oh, it's a small red tail. Well, a right species anyway. Just the wrong size. Trout or bass? What's the, what's the, I don't know. You need, I need more context. Tell me. What should you fish for if you go to Iceland? Trout. Trout. Definitely trout. What should you fish for if you go to Florida? Bass. The answer is bass. Thanks for the video. Oh, you're welcome, Alec. Well, thanks for being here. Make an Oklahoma map with paddlefish. That would be kind of the only thing. I think Fishing Planet's really focused on the future. I think we really lucked out with Selang River. I think they were nice to put in Selang River um, as kind of like a point between S San Joaquin and Weeping Willows. But, um, but yeah, I, I don't foresee them adding in another map that is backwards. I guess, if that makes any sense. I think the maps that they add in the future will continue to be higher up so that people will buy DLCs to fish them because they need to make money somehow. So I don't foresee them going back and adding maps slower. You know what I mean? Now I have talked to them about going back and adding larger fish to some of those regions such as a trophy white sturgeon or a unique one or a unique alligator gar or raising the maximum uh, weight of a flathead catfish on Quanchkin up to like a hundred some pounds or something like that. Um, there are certainly some things I'd like to see changed and then uh, and altered and added, I guess, that wouldn't exactly be an entire map. But, but yeah. Change your name. We'll ride on. What's your biggest fish I've caught? I, I've, already, I've already answered this once, but it doesn't hurt me to answer it again. Because it's just, if I could type it right, boom, there we go. It'll pop up in the chat for you to see. Change your name. Bo and the fish records, the name Paddlefish is in it. Could we also get a Mississippi River map? I, I, don't, I don't know. Don't, I, I doubt it. I doubt it. I do know that the Paddlefish is in there, though. I have seen that. They will bring fly fishing to Fishing Planet? I don't know. It seems difficult to implement. I've seen a lot of uh, different games try to add it in, but they uh, but it seems like it's a difficult thing to add into the game. Let's go ahead and move over here, and then we're gonna move back. And try it again. Ooh, same day, right afterwards. Same day, same day, same night, Saturday's all right, online, text, fine, night time, anytime, get your degree, set yourself free, National Fisherman University, oh my goodness. Big old Bjorn came down. Hi, Bjorn, how are you, buddy? Bjorn's going to the groomer tomorrow. Because he's shedding like crazy. You're shedding like crazy, and you're not an outdoor dog, are you? You're an indoor dog, so your hair goes everywhere. Yeah. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, bud. What's the max hook size for Max Sturgeon? I don't know. Size 5, maybe? I'm not sure about the Belugas, though. You could maybe go up, but probably size 5. 5 aught. Best YouTubers ever. Oh, thanks, Sir Sir Carbs a lot. Put a Canadian flag if you're Canadian. A. 
What should I do? I hate the sport I play. I don't want to quit. Kid don't. So kids don't make fun of you. And I feel like I have zero people to talk to you to about it. And I need you. What sport are you playing? I love fishing for carp and fishing plant, but I hate ground bait mix. Well, what's the deal? <laughs> Can we do fish cards? That's that's not a bad idea. We could do fish cards. Did everyone hear about um about the hilarious situation I ran in with the Wisconsin fish cards? It's not a unique, I don't believe. Might be a trophy though. No, he's just a regular size. 52 pound there, boyos. BZ, love the vids, man. My dad says you won't respond. <laughs> Tell your dad he's wrong. <laughs> I mean, he's not. Our fathers are never wrong. They are right every time. And don't you forget it. How tall is the Empire State Building? 502 feet. I know it. That's a fact. Don't don't ever look it up on the internet either. You don't need to. That's how tall it is. That's what my old man would say. <laughs> you ever watch UFC? No, I don't. Never have had uh, much of an interest in uh, the fighting sports. Um, I played a, a good number of, uh, of of ball games, football, soccer, um, golf, I guess. <laughs> um, yes, that's really it. Then it, then it would go on to like powerlifting and swimming and track and stuff like that. So, but never any fighting, never of that. Usually, most of the time when I was playing football, I was avoiding that. I was running away from people. Trying to avoid getting into a, a tackle sort of sort of scenario. It's about as close as you get to fighting. Unless you're fighting fighting with uh, the lineman in front of you. I think they're grossed out by our uh, bait here. Oh, what happened? I'm so confused right now. Well, 44, thanks for your advice on EESS. No, I'm on my sturgeon grind. Hey, right on. Keep going with sturgeon until blue crab or Amazon. Beep, 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 yeah, five odds probably as high as I'd go. I don't know. You could try six odd, but I I don't think I've ever had good luck with that. How's your day been? Been pretty well. How about yourself, Daniel? Do you have a mix for cloudy day at weeping? No, I believe at that point you're going to be looking for savory stuff. I don't have a mix for it, but... um. But maybe if you use the same mix, but then change the boiler to like a squid or something like that, you might have decent luck. I can't recall. Let me look. I have this C Moby mix, which is hemp seeds, fermented cornflax. I don't know if that's any good. And the H kappa. I don't know if this works. Can't remember. Can't remember. Any word on the ocean update? Yeah. It's gonna be a long time. That's that's multiple words, but just roll with it. Favorite gaming YouTube. Oh, well, thanks, 918. State testing and missed a pool party with your friends today. Well, state testing is important. Friends will come and go, but state testing, you know, they'll come and go too, I guess. I don't, I don't know where I'm going with it. 
You're level 42 and you've got 420,000. What should you do? Keep on fishing, man. You do have other options you can go to, and that will be some of the free-to-play episodes that come out in the future. Will be us just going to n other maps for fun, you know, just for funsies. Uh, obviously, we have uh, some of the monster fish that we're going to be going after here in October, so that's going to be kind of cool. So, really, just getting to San Joaquin is is allowing you to go other places. At that point, you've got a lot of money now, and now you can finally spread your wings and fly. You're a little peacock. Fly, peacock. I don't know what's going on. Here we go. It's awesome watching this video while playing Fishing Planet. Well. I completely agree. Yours been awesome. Well, good deal, Daniel. Feels like a million gobies. A million gobies? What are we talking about? Just so you don't have to. I trained kickboxing in 10th Planet for almost, I can assure you it wasn't for me or most people. Yeah, I just, I honestly have no interest in it. I don't have any interest doing the actual fights and I don't have any interest watching it. I, I guess I mentioned all the other stuff because I, I might watch them on TV because I actually did that stuff. But, um, but yeah, I, I, I hardly ever watch much on TV these days. I'm, I'm usually doing other stuff. <laughs> I don't have any time. I do watch a lot of movies because I have three screens here. So if I'm doing something on my main screen and I have two other, like I have a big wide screen up here so I can have like my web pages or whatever helping me do whatever I'm doing on my main screen. And then I might have a movie playing on my third screen. And so sometimes I'll watch a movie while I'm doing stuff. So I do, I do watch a fair amount of movies actually. See ya and good luck. See you later, Brecken. What's your favorite fish to catch in fishing planet? I usually just say the tarpon. I don't think I have a favorite, but that's that's a good one. Just joined. What did you miss, limp fish? Oh, just a bunch of catfish, I suppose. We caught a unique uh, flat whiskered catfish, which was kind of crazy. Beat RPB. Didn't expect to catch that on an ADOT hook. But uh, yeah, did it. You introduced your friend to fishing planet, right? It's a fun game. Fun game to play with friends. Can't wait to get to Maku Maku. Maku Maku can be fun. I tell you what, if we don't catch a unique red tail, it is going to shock me because while I was making the River Monsters video, I caught, God, either two or three of them. And so this is kind of shocking me that we haven't caught one yet. There goes the rod. It's another small one, man. What's the deal, dude? The rip saw it looks like. No, it's a croaker. What is going on? You're killing me inside. I'm dying. Unless the bites stop, we might fish here for another 10 minutes until 9 o'clock, and then we'll switch over to the Amazonian maze and try to get some Pierre over there. Ugh. What fish has the highest XP? I know, right? That's what I'm talking about. Probably Nile Perch. What changes do you wish could happen to Fishing Planet to make it an overall better game? I mean, a lot of it's going to be coming out here in just the next few months. We're going to be getting more fish fighting. We're going to have nets in the game. Um, going to have a new ocean map coming out here soon so we can finally do some like proper saltwater fishing going to be able to fish in the boat with your friends i'm um, going to have some big old bait casting reels to like fish for like marlin and stuff like that um i'd say the only thing and i've already talked to them and they said like yeah that's something we'd like to do um but they have to wait till the ocean update's already out is uh is like 
fix the flathead catfish in the game it it maxes out at like 60 pounds or something like that which is like half the size that it can get to in real life um if not more and uh that's just that's just doing it dirty all the catfish in the game have crap xp and money as well and it's annoying and um and i'd like to see that fixed and i would like to see trophy and unique sturgeon added to the american maps uh whether it be san joaquin delta or something else um and i want to see unique alligator gar added to quanchkin lake as well just some ideas of stuff i'd like to see changed what level do I have to be in order to fish the Nile Perch? I don't know. 75? Level 59, do I go to Blue Crab or Maku Maku? I'd say go to both, eh? Gotta enjoy both of them. What's your biggest walleye in real life? I don't know. Six and a half pounds? Seven and a half pounds? I don't even know. It's on, it's on Fish Brain. Are you guys on Fish Brain? If you want to know what any of my biggest fish are, just just look look us up on Fish Brain. Okay? You can you can you can look us up on Fish Brain and then you can go through all of the catches that we have. You can literally just click on the show personal catches and then you can just go through all of the biggest fish of every species we've caught. This is a heavy fish that's coming in fast. Oh, be a unique, it's not. Just a little 12 pound sorghum. Bleh. Bleh. What do we got? We got seven more minutes, man. Seven more minutes. Lord, Janus. That's a long time to be fishing not do you f recommend farming Siberian taming before we move on? I don't know Royal Sock we haven't gotten there yet and the first time we went through fishing planet we didn't have Saling River as an option so I, I literally do not know and that is the goal but it's gonna be months before we're able to get there Trophy lodges needed to be added so bad. It would be really cool, man. Almost level 54. Excited for the taming. Really boring, but the grind continues. I bet. Have you ever caught a sturgeon in real life? No, I haven't. I was uh, I was actually emailing a guy about that because uh, evidently the the like season for sturgeon opens up in September in, in Wisconsin. So I was uh, I was emailing him back and forth, but it, he uh, he didn't email me back. So maybe tomorrow I email him and say, "Hey, email me back. <laughs> Want to go catch a sturgeon?" <laughs> Mississippi River would be perfect for a unique alligator gar paddlefish and unique sturgeon. Oh yeah. Do you catch snakehead in real life? No, I do not. We don't have snakehead where I am. And if we did, they would get eaten by a muskie or a pike. And if I was in Kansas, they would get eaten by a flathead or something else. I'm always watching your videos. I'm always watching Wazowski. Yeah, I watch your vid when I go to the other place because I'm a beginner. Can you shout out? My name is Mike Raboy. Thanks. There you go. What is your largest unique Piraiba in the game? I don't know. Let's see. I don't even think I've caught a unique one, to be quite honest. It is a trophy of 213 pounds. So there you go. Cool fish. I don't think the model's that great. I, w I think they could do better on the model. But, um, but yeah, haven't counted unique yet. Taman's great XP, but gets boring fast. I bet so. You hit level 50 and you feels like Taman are better. 
okay? <laughs> I'm really eager to see, because I honestly didn't fish Weeping Willows all that much when I hit level 50, so. What state am I in? I'm, I'm up in Wisconsin at the moment. Taman is better XP than Carpet Willow by far? Really? That's shocking. That's shocking. Tell you what though, when I get to Weeping Willow, I will prove that statement to be false. Without a doubt. Just going off of the things I've been able to do at Weeping Willows, I, I, have, I have no doubt. No doubt. Maybe spending a lot of bait coins that we'll just find out. <laughs> what is your thoughts on if the game connected with the real weather going on in areas so it would simulate the fish that we catch due to the weather? That would be interesting. I, I don't know what else to say. I mean, the whole kind of point of the game is that we're able to uh, switch the day if we don't like the weather, so. I don't know how it would work in that case. If it's rainy outside, in real life, you have to deal with it. In Fishing Planet, you can just move on to the next day. Hooked up, boyos! It's a decent fish, but I don't think he's that big. I'm trying to reverse jinx myself. Not a bad fish. Can you go car fishing more often? I love watching it. In real life or in the game? What breed is your dog? He looks like a type of German Shepherd I used to have. A German Shepherd till he got old and he had to put him down. Still miss him. Name was Max. I had a German Shepherd when I was in high school as well. Uh, no, these are um, these are Norwegian Outcounts. They're good dogs. They're good dogs. They're, um, they're obviously from Norway. They're the national dog of Norway. Trophy, Red Tail. You're letting the whole team down, Red Tail. Come on now. You're supposed to be catching uniques one after another. But you're letting us all down. You're making your mom sad. Look at her, she's crying. Flare? Got the Amazon pack and third fish in the bull shark area and caught a unique pure of 247 pounds. Ooh, very nice. Not from Taman is far better than Sturgeon, but the Sturgeon money is unmatched. The Sturgeon money is unmatched. And you got car vision in the game. Oh. Yeah. Usually when we go carp fishing in the game, like I do it, it's, it's tiring, I guess. Is it it's like, that's the best way I can describe it. It's like tiring to the point where I get burnt out and I don't want to do it for a, a long while. Arm Uni Taman at Selang. You can just move locations at Weeping. Yeah. Yeah, I can I can literally catch five unique carp in one area and then move to a different pond and catch another five unique carp and then move to another one and then almost catch another five unique carp before the day's over and then switch areas and do it all over again. And so I, I have a really tough time of, of believing that it's worse than Taman because like What's what's our record for unique carp in a live stream? It's like 36 or something like that over a two hour period. Like hundreds of thousands of XP and dollars. Jacob. Well, I don't really know much about carp. I'm a rascally little bass fisherman. 
I've always heard carp are not good to eat because their diet is bottom food typically. Is that true? Carp are, uh, are, are omnivores. They eat just about anything that's down there. They'll eat, uh, they'll eat vegetation, they'll eat bugs, they'll eat eggs, they'll eat little lizards and <laughs> anything that moves, man. Carp are, uh, are kind of funny little fish like that. Um, but yeah, they do like sweet stuff. So, uh, if they can get themselves some fruit off trees, usually if you find a mulberry tree by a lake or something like that, they'll be carp swarming it because they love sweet stuff. Um, but the entire reason they were brought to the United States was to feed all the colonists that came over. Um, because obviously there was a large European population that came over to the United States and what did they eat a lot of? What was like the fancy food for people to eat in Europe it was carp. So when they came over to the United States and they said, wait a second, there's no carp here. What's the deal? I thought the United States was supposed to be a great place. Where's the carp? And so they brought over carp to feed all the rich folk. And uh, eventually population grew it, it it became to the point so that the common man could just you know catch a carp and and eat it but i'll tell you this much i you could be in the cleanest lake on earth and people would still say that the carp tastes like dirt and it's because they don't know how to cook it they just suck at cooking carp i've cooked a carp in the muddiest rivers in kansas and they taste great so I don't know what to tell you other than that they're just bad at cooking carp. <laughs> they just don't know what they're doing. <laughs> but uh, that, but, but maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they're a freaking five-star chef and I just don't know what I'm talking about. The unique pair I even gave you 212,000 XP was a huge boost. I started my character without the pack because there was no grind anymore. I, I have no doubt. More XP on weaving. If you're lucky, you can get five uni tame in an in-game day. That's a lot, man. That would be great. If you could catch five in a day, that might be worth it. You're catching that many unique carp in a day, that's great. The most I've gotten in a day is 12. Yeah. No. I, I mean in a two-hour period. But if you can... if Yeah, if you can catch five uniques in one pond then move over and catch another five in, in, in another, another pond without changing the time or anything like that. And then move over to a third pond, and by that time you've moved out of your like four hour in-game window or whatever to catch all those fish. Um, and then you have to move on to the next day. Like, if you catch 12 carp in that day and then move on to the next day and catch another 12 carp, and you're doing all this and repeat to the point where like in our two hour period during the live stream you're catching 36 unique carp in a, in a two hour period then that's all gonna add up that's a lot of money and a lot of xp you know not know about catfish i love catfish they're big fish too oh i have no doubt but they didn't care man that's, that's what people had been eating in, in the United States before they came over. That's what the common man ate. You know? It's not, it's like, uh, it's like caviar or something like that. If, 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 uh, if the, if all the poor people were eating caviar, then the rich people would be like, Ew, caviar? Gross. That's what poor people eat. You know? So they came over to the United States everyone's eating catfish already well do you think they're gonna eat catfish no way man it's not fancy that's what everyone else eats they gotta eat something else where the heck is the carp that's what the rich folk ate in europe why aren't they here in the u.s i tell you what i am just shocked that we are not catching bigger fish all right well let's go ahead we're gonna move on to go catch some piraiba amazonian maize Go ahead and leave this place. Are the rigs in fishing plan even useful or are they useless? The rigs, like the Carolina rig and all that sort of stuff, they have a they have a point. Just don't use them that much. Um, 
I think it's because they break every time you uh, take them off. I don't know. At, at that point, I just don't use them all that much. We are very close to getting three million dollars. Not too shabby, I suppose. You bought the deluxe pack. When's it going to be the new update? I know, right? Uh, yeah, August 32nd, I believe. That is the new release. Got Xbox gift cards for your birthday. Well, right on. That's cool. Thanks for the info. It's cool to know. I just always heard that about carp. I do enjoy catfishing from time to time, so I'd imagine I'd like carp fishing. Oh yeah, and you can catch you can catch carp and catfish at the same time. It like in Kansas, like if we went carp fishing, we would catch you know three or four catfish while we were carp fishing. Watch the uh, if you go onto the MDO and watch the video of me fishing with my grandma. We took uh, my like ninety some year old grandma out fishing with us and went for carp. And she caught these two like six pound channel cats while we were out there. It was hilarious. We, we would get a fish on and I would be like, yeah, this is a fairly sizable fish. It's probably a carp. And uh, next thing I freaking know, it's a good sized channel cat. And I'm like, good God. And the whole goal was to get her a carp. And every time I grabbed the rod and was like, yeah, this is a pretty decent fish. It ended up being a catfish. Oh, sure. 17 bait coins for 33 marker buoys. Okay, we need to change these to 14 knot hooks for one thing. Then we need to change this to huge cut bait. I'm gonna leave one of them with liver. And then we're gonna make, gonna change the time for one thing. Okay, now let's mix together some catfish magic. What did I miss, Colton 13? So much. So, guys, you remember when we did that amazing thing that Colton missed? Ah, oh, Colton, you should have been there. It was so cool. Oh, but only me and the other 114 people will know. Oh, and it's probably not even worth going back and trying to find it because you probably won't find it. It's okay. That's not a big deal. Dollar mindset. The po poor folk were eating those whiskered carp with little pokers while the rich were eating the clean shaven carp. That's right. Yeah, I can't believe you were eating those those ones. Those are the poor ones. You gotta have the better ones, don't you know? Why such a difference is made. Well, the mirror carp are pretty cool too. I would love to find a better way of eating carp. I really would. I need to get a chemist involved, maybe. Get a, a chemist. Help me with my, my, my goals. We'll get it. So with the 30 say you lied to us April 1st about the ocean of you can't do this again, man. <laughs> I can't, I can't get in trouble for lying on April 1st. That's literally like the one day of the year where everyone can say something that's not true and not get in trouble about it. So of course I said something that wasn't true on April 1st. And I have said many a time, many a time, to the point of feeling like I'm going crazy, that I will tell you any time I get a date for something new coming out. If I know it, I'll put a video out about it. Because videos get views, and views make money, and that's how I make money. So if I know when a date's coming out, you know, with a new update, 
I'm gonna make a video about it. You don't have to ask me when it's coming out. You just look for the video. I don't have to tell you. So if I haven't made a video about it, what's the point in asking me other than to just drive me crazy to the point of me just going on a rant about it during a live stream while fishing for Piraiba to the point where I just start telling you dates that don't exist because I'm tired of answering the same question a million times. Huh? 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 It's the same concept. Doesn't matter if it's the ocean update or the fish fighting and club update. It's every update. Every update that ever exists for any fishing game, for any game ever. If I know the date, I'll let you know. You don't have to ask me. I'll tell you. You don't have to find me. I'll find you. I'll walk up to your house. I'll tell you in person. I'll send Bjorn with a little message on his collar. It'll, it'll, it'll tell you. I'm level 25. Where should I be fishing for good XP? Let me tell you about a new playlist that I created like a year ago. It's the Fishing Planet Beginner Series Series 2 and it's listed by level. You can just go to the playlist, look up what level you are, and click on that video and it'll tell you everything you need to know. They're also really similar in how they eat. Have you seen this how the carp is? Yeah, I mean the carp just have a lot of bones. So if you just pick the bones out, it's the same. But that's obviously something people don't like to deal with. When I fried up my carp, I would literally just piece, I would just pick it. You know, people just like to bite into a piece of like, uh, if they deep fry fish or whatever, they just like to bite into and eat it. Um, whereas with carp, you kind of have to pick it apart and pull out the bones. It really wasn't that big of a deal. Uh, once you got the hang of it, because each little piece that was, you know, two inches by four inches or whatever had like two bones in it. So you just had to pick out those two bones and you were free to eat the whole piece. Do you ever use spot rods and what are they good for? What type of fish? Yeah, we use spot rods when we're fishing at Weeping Willows for the carp. I don't use spot rods in real life though. I never have like a real reason to. I know they use them a lot in uh, Europe and whatnot, but I just, I don't use them. Now you got, get to go to White Moose Lake. Oh, do you? I know, people need to know about when I'm putting out the video for the update I don't know about. I wish I could tell you. You really like the canoe? The old Frankenfish canoe. You can get it for free just by completing the Halloween missions. Um, so if, if uh, once the Halloween missions come along, try to complete them this Halloween season, and you'll get the Frankenfish kayak for free. Unless you spend money on the uh, on the uh, on the uh, missions and whatnot. There he goes, there he goes again. Revving up his boat. And I just think that this catfish is fighting us forever and ever. Bum, 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 bum. I have to go get in the boat so we don't have to deal with fighting these fish for so long. Goodness gracious. The guy's just fighting us for a ridiculous amount of time. I don't even think he's that big. You better be a trophy at least. I know you're not, but I really want you to be. You ever come out to California and fish? Uh, no. I, I lived out in California for a few months one time. Um, but... I honestly didn't fish while I was there. I really regret it. A little 117 pound piraiba. Piraiba. Rado, rado. The 
question remains. Um, should we get in the boat? Should we get in the boat? Should we get in the boat? What do you think the best thing to level up from level 70 to 75? I would catch your fill of now perch and then I think there's a way to catch now perch at night. You catch now perch at night, well you'd be set. I don't have time to fight two of you guys, so just come one at a time, please. If you could, just wait till we catch this guy and then you can start going off. Sincerely, Bo. You two missions away from this year from finishing the Halloween stuff this year, but you came in too late. Aw, shucks. You were close though, and this year you'll be able to get it, Jeremiah. That's cool. The cameraman's got to go. See you later, cameraman. Big bad EC. This guy's taking us out to 180, 190. Hey yo, hey yo. Boys, we might have a decent fish on. 230, 240, 250, 260 almost. Good gravy. This guy's gonna be a trophy, I just know it. We're gonna fight this dude for the next 12 minutes, and then he's gonna be a trophy, and we'll go, wow, okay, well, the unique is still out there to catch. Somewhere, somewhere, he's out there. What's up, Soggy? Stop and go. Already knew this. Yeah, I just don't like to fish for catfish with lures. I'm a I'm a purist bait fishing catfish guy. Don't you know? I was raised I was raised on the shores of the the, the banks. <laughs> Can I say shores? The banks of the Kansas River. I filtered, I filtered river water with my teeth. I'd go <laughs> and clean out all the mud. God, I thought we almost had him below 200. Come on, you. Finally. Oh, we're fighting for 200. Good God, just get out of here. Any tips at level 34? Yes. Go to the beginner series, series two, and look up what video is at level 34 and watch it. Will this amount of strain hurt your durability at all? I guess, yeah. The whole point of the rod though is to catch the fish. I don't care if it damages the durability. Good Lord, about three million dollars in the bank. We're just going to repair it after the day's fishing. You're excited for the boat sharing? That makes sense. It's a cool, it's going to be a new feature, a cool feature, a cool new feature. Well, it's slow, but we're making headway. He was at 200. Now he's at 130. Slowly getting tired. Your dad just bought a boat in real life? That's cool. What kind of boat did he get? Maybe affecting your stats, so I was asking for myself. Yeah, I got you. 
I think there are very few times. I think maybe the like the walleye grind is like one of the only times I've ever had a rod break on me or like get near breaking before I was able to upgrade it. Usually for the most part, you uh, you upgrade rods while you're leveling before you have to repair them. So you really don't have to worry about repairing the rods so much. I see this, I, and I actually listed it in my uh, in my top things that people make, you know, as a mistake while they're leveling up is repairing their equipment because for the most part, you're gonna end up upgrading your stuff before you even need to repair it. And you're just wasting money on stuff that you could be using to travel or buy gear or something like that. Okay, below 100 again. Below 90. Come on, friend. Be a friend with me. Is that your car? Pretty big car. I'm surprised you didn't keep one of them to eat. Saw your Kansas Cat Part 2 video and the catfish. Is that your car? Pretty big. Honestly, can't remember. Can't remember what I was driving that day. Could have been though. Surprised you didn't keep any of the. No, we were fishing at a private pond. They didn't. It's all catch and release. They don't let you keep anything there. It was a friend of uh, Ranger Neal's. And I honestly don't like to keep catfish that big anyway. They're they're like a, a rare specimen at that point. I just like I just if they're in a small pond like that, I can always go back and catch them again, and th they'll be bigger that by that point. Look at this big old boy, trophy again, hot dang! I tell you what, 208 pounds though, not bad, not a bad fish. That's a big one. We're we're coming on man eater proportions here, fellas. Goodness gracious. That that one right there is bound to swallow you whole. You just have your feet sticking out the sticking out the mouth. Alright, top notch. Well, fifteen thousand bucks, nine thousand dollars. Throw back out there and try to catch another. Got seven minutes. Easy Hub is the worst YouTuber on opposite day. Oh my god. Can't believe. Can't believe that. That'd be crazy. Can't remember when the last opposite day I was aware of. I think August uh, August 32nd is the next opposite day. We got all three rods going off at the same time. Absolute bananas over here. This is kangaroo court. We're gonna lose all three of them because of the connection. We lost two of them anyway. Hopefully this is a big one. <laughs> Good God. When will they add fish tanks to the fishing planet? I tell you what, we haven't even got fish infantry yet. To be thinking about going to fish tanks already, I mean, where do you draw the line? Would you want like fish airplanes at that point? Fish jets, fish ships, or you have like art artillery batteries and whatnot? I mean, come on. We're here to fish, not talk about fish armies. Your mistakes video. What waterway he at? Tell you what. Matt, the old Amazon. Was the next video of yours? Nice cat. Boat brand maximum 120 HP. Okay. I'll have to look it up. 
I just meant overall bass boat, John boat, kayak, canoe, center console. Is catching the monster fish worth for lower levels? Oh, if you can manage it, yeah, it's not bad. Gives you some XP, gives you some some stuff. Some of the lures you uh, catch those monster fish on are pretty good for other fish as well. I am sorry. Don't be sorry. I It was a great idea. PC, how is it going, CV Gaming? It's going quite well, I think anyway. Swimmingly, it's going swimmingly. Current rod setup for them there monsters. We're using a Makanzi 12 foot 10 and a Lampulsion 12,000. I know this because I've answered the question a few times a day, but that is what we're using. Just got this game the other day and I've been having a blast. Been playing way too much. This is by far the best fishing game. I bought the Congo DLC and it's by far well worth the money. It's uh, it's worth the money too much. Tell you what. Uh, yeah. Thing is, is you can't restart the game. So once you play through the entire game and you get bored of it, there's no going back and restarting. So uh, that's why I always say not to buy the DLCs because you only get one chance. And uh, and if you shoot up through all the lower levels and you don't get to experience them like everyone else, you're just making the game less fun to play, I guess. It'd be like playing Call of Duty and, and buying a DLC that unlocks all the best guns and all the best paints and everything like that. It's like part of the fun of the game is just leveling up your guy and getting all the guns and all the paints and stuff from doing the challenges and whatnot. If you just bought a DLC for all that stuff, then it's just kind of boring. You're a free to play guy. So yeah, no packs. Got the level 40, then got the DLC. Okay, that's not too bad then. That's not too bad then. That was a nice little Piraiba. You can add a new account though. You can add, you can you can create a new account on Steam if you want to. Or you can play on mobile. There's other options, but you can't just play on your same account again. We had an old six point that we were going to kill so he couldn't breed, but this year he turned into an eight point. Guessing to score 130. Wowie zowie, man. It's pretty cool tail. 929. Dang, that's fine. My, my, you're a tall one. Haven't seen the world until you've looked off the back of a wind rider. Listen here, sir. Listen here. <laughs> Need more rage. Need more rage. Need more mana. <laughs> That's funny. All right. This might be our last fish of the night. Whew. Oh, those are head shakes, man. Oh, that little splash at the top there didn't seem very big, though. Just caught a noony striped bass. What's the hardest fish to catch in this game? I don't know, man. The pike slasher? <laughs> I don't know. Some people would tell you the mad eye buffalo. What's the biggest fish you have in real life? Mine's 240 pound bluefin. Took six hours to land on 60 pound. Oh my goodness. Mine is a, I would type it into the chat, but I'm, I'm kind of tied up right now. Um, mine's a 234 pound alligator gar. That was about eight feet long. Trying to fish for catfish when my pole got pulled in. My first thought was giant catfish, so I grabbed it just to find out I got wet for a giant pumpkin seed. Yeah, boy. Giant pumpkin seed, bro. 
Absolute mad lad. How's your dog? Dog's doing quite well. Thanks for asking, Soggy. He's uh he's right over here. He was just giving me uh, leg kisses. I think he licks off the sweat on my legs. <laughs> little little salt, I guess. Sick. What's your favorite feature of the new update? I really like the fish fighting. The fish fighting makes the the makes the fight a lot better, I think. Like you can literally just do this and just reel them in. And so the fight is just a fraction of what it used to be. Boy, that old rod's just still a going, ain't it? But the net, the net's kind of fun too. I, I do enjoy the net a little bit. How are you doing? I'm doing quite well, Chase. How about yourself? Juggling three sturgeon, Troy says. Zuckerberg, who you got? My, my money is on Marky Mark. Zuck the duck. Zuck the duckberg. Zuck, Zuck the Duckerberg. We're gonna get this. We're gonna get this at some point. Fifty pound salmon's pretty cool, though. What level should I buy a kayak? I don't know. Whenever you unlock or are ready to go to San Joaquin, maybe. You're doing good, Chase says. Good deal. Going fishing for walleye at Lake Erie tomorrow. Hey, right on, man. I had a good time fishing for walleye at Lake Erie. We caught a lot. All right, you beast. Get up in here. He's just a little baby, but I like him. 103 pound little baby. All right, everybody. That is going to wrap this stream up like a Christmas present. Posting the Discord picture of Uni Pike that was 38 pounds that you caught earlier this morning. Very cool. Right on. I'll have to look for it. Have you ever been fishing in Michigan? I have not, I don't believe. Best when I used to play this months ago was 50 pound sturgeon, but they kind of got lost. Oh no, Chase. That's too bad. Anywho, we'll see you all later. Thanks for being here, everyone. This was a fun one. I enjoyed it. We caught some catfish. They weren't as big as we hoped they would be, but we had a good time. You ever play any of the sports competitions, fish plan? If so, have you won any? No, I don't. I've I've played just one, and I made a video about it. We lost. We didn't have. It wasn't that great. Anyway, that's about it. I don't play any of the other uh, competitions. That's gonna do it. Take care, everyone. We'll see you next one. Um, have a great week. Go fishing this weekend. Go do something fun outside. But until the next one, take care, and as always, planet one family, game on.